And I got my latest Bandai Monster Arts figure, which is Godzilla 2004 from Final Wars. Arrived today, and I'm going to be doing a uh, discussion of him later, but um, I thought I'd go into some other things first, maybe make this a two- or three-parter. And there he is next to uh, Guy Gan, who also has a role in Final Wars. And then there will be a third figure, which is Monster X, that will be coming out later this year, hopefully. So I thought I'd talk about a little bit about just my feelings towards Godzilla in general, um, just to, in case anybody's interested. Um, when I was a kid, the only era that had uh, had happened was uh, the Showa era. So there's, there's uh, let me see, uh, four different eras. And uh, Showa era ran from 1954 to 1975. So I was kind of in the middle there where none of the movies were coming out in theaters because uh, it was past 1975, but the Heisei era didn't start till 1984. So I would watch these movies on TV. Sunday afternoons, they would play it. So that's kind of the, um, I, I have probably my softest soft spot is for the Heisei era. And I particularly enjoy a few different movies like uh, um, Terror of Godzilla and uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And believe it or not, one that is considered to be one of the worst is Son of Godzilla, which I recognize has a lot of issues, but I kind of like the film. Um, I even liked Abera, Horror of the Deep, with the big lobster. Uh, there were some I, I didn't love, but uh, it, it's more kind of moments in there that I disliked rather than the entire movie. You know, I, I'm not a fan of Godzilla doing the little silly hop or flying around uh, using his uh, atomic breath. I, th those were kind of stupid. I, I didn't enjoy that. Um, then when I was a bit older, they started the Heisei era. And the Heisei era, I think, was was a really good era. Uh, I really enjoyed Godzilla vs. Biollante. Um, not so much Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, which is actually, for a lot of people, is up near the top. Um, there's only two movies in the entire series where I get actually a little emotional and it's and I can tell you that there's not a lot of movies overall where I get emotional. So for um, for a series like Godzilla to get a, a couple, that's pretty good. Um, the first is in the first movie um, in Godzilla at the very end when they are using the oxygen destroyer on Godzilla. Um, it wasn't the death of Godzilla that got me. It was the death of Dr. Shirazawa that uh, always gets me. And it's it's really kind of just the, the whole moment, the music, everything works together to create a very compelling moment. Uh, the, the other one is uh, the end of Godzilla versus Destroya when, uh, again, Godzilla is killed. And uh, that one was the death of Godzilla. And uh, again, it's it's just really, really well done with the music and everything. And so those are probably, for me, probably the two uh, two of the best moments. Uh, they're also in terror of Mechagodzilla with the introduction of um, Titanosaurus. And again, I, I think a lot of people are not huge fans of the movie, but... Um, Something about it really resonated. And it I think that there is I've always felt that there's kind of a um a moment in time, a moment in your childhood that kind of sticks with you as you get older, kind of the age of maybe seven to sixteen, seventeen, something like that. And uh when you get older you kind of look back on those uh, moments fondly. So for me, James Bond, um I can recognize the different the the quality of different eras but uh, roger moore was my james bond that was the james bond when i was of that age and so uh, roger moore has always been my my favorite and, and as another comparison of uh, the two series i will say this that i enjoy godzilla but a series like james bond means way more to me because i recognize that most of the 
the Godzilla films were low budget, rather silly. Um, in the 1970s, during the, the era when I was a child, Godzilla was actually quite popular. And uh, Marvel had a comic book. There was an animation and uh, not not a lot coming out. So from 1975 to 1984, there were no movies. It wasn't, well, with 1984, then they had The Return of Godzilla, which is uh, one of the movies I, I'm not sure if I've ever watched before. There are some Godzilla movies that I don't believe I've ever watched. Uh, not a lot. It may be just one or two that I've never seen. Um, not a big fan of the Millennium Era era. I own Godzilla 2000. I don't think I've ever opened it up and watched it. Um, Godzilla vs. Uh, Megaguirus. It was okay. Not that great. Monsters All Out Attack. Didn't like that one. And and that's another one that a lot of people really enjoy. I, I found that... Um, I tend not to like the movies where there's a, a bunch of kaiju. Not that there's a ton. There's three... King Ghidorah, Mothra, Baragon. But um, in those movies, Godzilla tends to just stop the living daylights out of him. Although, I, again, I, I didn't hate Son of Godzilla, which I know a lot of people hate that movie. And that had lots of, lots of creatures in it. Um, then we get to uh, the American ones. The Roland Emmerich one, uh, Godzilla, was an abomination. I hated that movie, and uh, I don't think I'll get much pushback on that. But uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm not a big fan of the Legendary Pictures movies. Um, each one for for a different reason. Um, but the main reason is I, I feel like they just don't get the point. They don't get the idea of Godzilla. Um, with each movie, it seems like what they're trying to do, and I, I definitely get the impression that the people who are making it do legitimately care about Godzilla, the character, unlike Roland Emmerich, who clearly didn't give a damn. Um, but they're trying to respond to the criticisms of the critics and the, and the uh, audiences, and I just, I don't think it's working. Uh, you know, they, they introduced a whole ton of new kaiju in King of Monsters, but didn't really do anything with it. And I just thought the the uh, human characters, I, I don't care about any of them. I find them annoying. Um, and I just think that the pacing was was off in King of the Monsters. The, the way that King Ghidorah was the first monster really kind of introduced. He should have been the last. Um, they had, I think, three fights between him and Godzilla. He should have been the final battle. They should have had Godzilla working his way up the chain and then uh, then the big fight against uh, King Ghidorah. Uh, Godzilla versus Kong was just ridiculous, I thought. And that one was popular, made, made money. Uh, the, the first Godzilla, I think, was closest to what the the core the concept of godzilla is but i kind of got bored godzilla looked fantastic but i thought the movie itself just kind of dragged along and 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 it, i didn't hate it the first time i watched it i don't hate it now but i just don't feel like rewatching it it's not i don't find it particularly rewatchable so i would say my two favorite uh, eras the showa that's it's just fun it's silly it's fun it's cheap whatever. Uh, the Heisei era, uh, Godzilla versus Biollante, unfortunately, is one of the very few movies that for God knows what reason has never been put on Blu-ray. So I don't own that one. It's one of the very few that I don't own. Um, I enjoyed uh, Mechagodzilla, Space Godzilla, Destroya, all of these. Uh, so I, I would say Heisei probably is the best era. Although, like I said, Showa era has my, uh, that's, that's the one the one I have the soft spot for. So that's, that's my feelings. And then, uh, in the next video, I'll go specifically into Godzilla Final Wars and my thoughts on that one. And you can see here, Godzilla Final Wars has a whole lot of kaiju in it. 
Kaiser Ghidorah, Zilla. Zilla is the uh, American uh, Emmerich one. Whole ton of creatures. So that's coming up.